Welcome back to Good Day Stateline. We are celebrating St. Patrick's Day this morning, and you can't do that without a little whiskey. And how about actor Tim Murphy, the perfect Irish combination? Good morning, Tim. Good morning. How are you doing? I am good. I am very jealous of where you are right now. Looks like fun on National Irish Whiskey Day was March 3rd, but we have a feeling <laughs> this St. Patrick's Day is going to have the same vibes. Uh, so we're wondering how, how you like to celebrate uh, this whiskey season. Well, I think the St. Patrick's Day will be better than last year, but, uh, <laughs> and I'll be celebrating it with uh, my family and friends uh, with a, a nice glass of McConnell's Irish whiskey. This legendary whiskey it's made its return to American shores after 100 years, so it's quite exciting, you know. Yeah, I was reading all about it. That is so cool. For any of our viewers who aren't familiar with McConnell's, can you tell us that story about the resurgence? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's like it, it began in 1776. It was a very successful whiskey, and then it was wiped out by a fire in 1909. It made a great comeback after that. They rebuilt the distillery, and then it was wiped out by uh, prohibition in America in the 1920s. Um, and now it's making its uh, comeback, uh, which is fantastic, you know. And that might be, you know, like one of those silver linings of our pandemic is the comeback of a lot of alcohol that we, you know, lost along the way. We returned when we were home for a whole year by ourselves. Uh, tell us what's trending in the whiskey world right now. Well, what's, what's trending? I suppose the, 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 the biggest thing is the millennials have discovered the different varieties of Irish whiskey, so they become aficionados in the whiskey. Uh, and because uh, Irish whiskey is great versatility and, and drinkability, uh, it draws uh, people to that category. Um, McConnell's is aged for, you know, it's aged for five years in these uh, oak wooden casks, and it's a, a fine blend of Irish malt and grain whiskies, and it is a beautiful, creamy, smoky taste, you know. So what's the difference between Irish whiskey and any other variety of whiskey? Um, Irish whiskey, well, it, number one, it has to be made in Ireland and it has to be fully distilled in Ireland and then it, it gets aged in these oak casks, uh, wooden casks, uh, uh, for three years, which uh, gives it this lovely, woody, kind of char, smoky flavor to it. So the word whiskey, I have to ask you this because it's spelled two different ways, but you guys spell it without the E and that's the traditional way, right? That's the traditional way. The, the E came into, into effect in the, the 1900s when the Irish wanted to distinguish their whiskies from mm. other whiskies. But uh, McConnell's, uh, you know, was such an iconic brand at the time, they, they, they didn't feel the need to, you know, buck tradition. So they spelled the whiskey without the E to this day, you know. I like that. So what are some recipes that we could use McConnell's to make? What are your favorites? Uh, well, there's a traditional Irish coffee, which we all love, of course, and it looks fantastic, and it's great on a, you know, a cold winter's morning. But my own particular favorite is uh, the Jane J. McConnell's, which is uh, McConnell's Irish whiskey and uh, with vermouth and bitters. Uh, it's aged for five years in these hand-picked wooden oak uh, bourbon casks. And it's a you know, fine blend of uh, Irish malt and Irish grain whiskey. It gives it a lovely smoky, creamy flavor to it. So uh, right now, that's my own particular favorite. You know? I like that. You gave us the coffee, so like a breakfast whiskey drink, and then a later in the day whiskey drink. Uh, tell us, Tim, about what's exactly. going on. Exactly. <laughs> Just drink all day, you know? <laughs> we don't hate that. We don't hate that. Tell us what's going on uh, with the McConnell's Irish Whiskey Story Slams. That's a contest you guys have, right? That's correct, yeah. Well, the tradition of Irish storytelling, I mean, it's deep within our souls, you know, so... And McConnell's whiskey itself has a great uh, story. Um, you know, as I said already, it was founded in 1776. It was destroyed by a fire in 1909, and they came back again and made a great comeback, and then Prohibition wiped it out in the 20s, and now it's making a comeback again. So in that spirit, we're asking people to tell their comeback stories, you know? And after this horrible pandemic, I'm sure a, a lot of us have a comeback story to tell and to celebrate. So we would like people to go to the website, mcconnellsirishwhiskey.com, to learn more about it and to enter into this competition. I like that, and you want us to use the hashtag, share your comeback, right? 
That's right, share your comeback. I feel like 2021 is the perfect year to share your comeback, and why not do it with whiskey right around St. Patrick's Day? For sure, definitely. All and right. McConnell's preferably, you know. Absolutely. All right, Tim, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Happy early St. Patrick's Day. Very nice talking to you. That was too fun. Coming up next on GDS, we are meeting the team behind Rockford Gastroenterology Associates. And later, we're naming our next fan of the week. You know, we love chatting with you whenever we get the chance. Last week at mystateline.com slash GDS, we asked you, what's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? We're not surprised to hear your favorite is Thin Mint minus two. This week, we're talking movies. What's your favorite type of movie? Is it a comedy, drama, thriller? Vote now at mystateline.com slash GDS. We'll be right back.